I don't know how much you're going to be able to hear. Windy is all good out. Today is the 12th of May. Wilma and I are out at uh, Deer Run Forest Reserve. It's along the Kishwaukee River. We, uh, we parked out by the gate here. This is where we've parked before. Trail that starts down by the road that goes along in here. I think I put that straight on the Having a hat. There used to be a fence line here, and I think this is all the new part that they, they added a year or two ago. Yeah, don't seem to have gotten much farther than taking down the fence and piling up the, the trees. But, you know, it takes a while. At least they got the fence down. Now there's the fence line that's gone. It came along that trail to the right there on the east. Over there in the background is where the horse people park their horse trailers. This is the new segment, or the new section. I don't know. It was maybe two years ago they bought it. I think they're going to replant it as weeds. And then the trail just kind of goes to the west. Ah, uh, there's Wilma playing in the water. I'm not sure if she went out there to get a drink or what. I guess so. Not really. Just wants to splash around and have a good time in the mud. Plenty of it out there. Well, the mud beagle found more mud to play in. There's a railroad bridge over this, I don't know what it is. A little inlet of some sort. Well, I'm just going to go inspect the water on the other side. Looks like it's concrete with a Culvert. You can see the metal culvert under the. I don't know if that's concrete. It looks like it. Fair number of birds out here. Yeah, there she goes again. Nothing like a good romp in the mud. Let me open again so the wind has picked up. Last time we were out here, this field was. I don't know, waist high weeds. They must have burned it last fall. Now there's a Lincoln Electric welder sitting up there by the tracks. Looks like they did some work on the fence there. Looks like they put in, uh, they did some trestle work. Looks like they're still doing it. I don't know if there's any way to get across the river there. Some kind of trails over there of some sort. And I have to look on the map and see if there's some way to get over there some way. Now we're headed under the power lines now. There's a railroad bridge that they're working on over there. The trail goes into this woods here. There's a horse coming along. He slowed down when he saw us. Doofus in the water again. Yeah, there she was in the mud again. I think I missed most of it. Turned west here. Here's a bridge over the creek. This is uh, the entrance into McKiskey. Well, of course, wants to go in the mud. I'm going to walk on the bridge. Water, so in she goes. Doesn't look very appetizing to me, but Wilma seems to enjoy it. I don't know, south, more or less along the river, you can see it over there, I don't know, 30 feet away. Still pretty high and still pretty rapid or swift current, but you know. 
real close to the river now. I think this is like a little spur that goes over here to the river to give the horses some place to drink. So we're going to take Horse Wilma over there. Looks like some deer have been over here too. See, my first deer tracks. Actually, I saw some back there too, but I haven't seen many. I'm kind of surprised. This is a good spot for Wilma. Kind of a dam here. I don't know that a beaver built it. Doesn't look like it. This looks like some debris got caught in here. No, we're not going over there. Looks like there's some kind of a trail segment that goes over there. Looks like the horses come down there sometimes. There's Horse Wilma. Not a lot of water flowing through here, but some. No, we're not going up on that side. I have the wrong boots on to go across the mud. Oh, you mud beagle. I thought she was going to leave, but she decided to go back and play in the water a little more. Maybe get a little more drink. Now yeah, we're under the power lines. There's some more mud. <laughs> Wilma's going to go inspect. Uh, if I didn't know the trail went back along here, I would not even think the trail was here. It doesn't look like they've mowed yet this year, so... It's a, I'm not sure officially where the trail is. It might be over there somewhere. Yeah, the grass is low enough, I can just walk through it. Back into deer run. And of course, the beagle wants to go in the mud. Now uh, we walk to the other side of the horse watering area. That's where we were before. There's where Wilma wanted to come up. And of course, she's gonna play in the water. Have a good time. This is kind of in the, I don't know, southwest corner of the field before you uh, head back east. We'll walk over here and see what's here. Mallard out there on the river. I don't know if you can see him. There's a beagle on the river. There's a little sandbar. You could probably get out there without too much trouble, but it's a little muddy. Well, there's some more ducks down there. Now, through the trees, maybe you can see a bridge. There's a bridge over there. Or along the river. Looks like the river must have flooded all the way up to here. You can see flood debris. Hold on, Creaky. Like the flood debris got deposited right on the trail. So they just cut a path around it on either side of it. Probably easier than trying to clear it out. It's a big pile of junk. We're over by the bridge. I think this is the southernmost bridge. There's a couple ducks. There's Creek Beagle. I always wondered if you could get across Perryville here and get into the other forest preserve. It's either I think it's Black Hawk Springs over there. Obvious way to get across under this bridge. I suppose if you're a bit of a mountain goat you might be able to. I suppose if you climb up the side of the hill there and go up the to the road. Again, you'd have to be a beagle or a mountain goat. A couple of geese over there are offended that Wilma's and I are here. There's a couple more geese. Now, I think you can get up the side of this hill and get up to the road and kind of get across the road. I guess you'd have to jaywalk. Serious water in here. That's about head high for me. There's flood debris up there. Uh, 
I don't know what these blue flowers are, but they're pretty. All over the place here. There's the river still. Ooh, more geese. And I think I see two little geeseys. Uh, I don't know if I got him. There was a big blue heron there. And there. Along the bank. Of geese and two little gooses. And there's some more of them up along the bank farther up, and I don't know if I can get them. Yeah, somebody lost a flip flop. As I surmised, the other horse crossing was a new one, and this is the old one. It's even deeper here. I still have the sign here, so over there is. Uh, uh, Oak Ridge Forest Preserve. More ducks, or no, those are geese.